perfect wisdom. With the divisions of the Abyssamilla Kra. Translated by Edward Kins. University of California Press Berkeley, Los Angeles, London. Translation of the Sutra. Chapter 15. The Concentrations. 9. The Equipment with Skill and Means. The Meaning of Great Vehicle. 1. Its Constituents. Subhuti. What is the great vehicle of the Bodhisattva, the Great Being? How should a Bodhisattva be known as one who has set out in the great vehicle? Where from will that vehicle go forth? Where will it come to a halt? Who will go forth by means of that great vehicle? The Lord. With regard to what you say, what is the great vehicle of a Bodhisattva? The six perfections are the great vehicle of a Bodhisattva. Subhuti. What are a Bodhisattva's six perfections? The Lord. A Bodhisattva's perfection of giving consists in that, with productions of thought associated with the knowledge of all modes, he gives a gift, I. E. Inward and outward things, makes these common to all beings and dedicates them to full enlightenment. And he instigates others also to do likewise. But always without basing himself on anything. The untarnished perfection of morality of a bodhisattva consists that he himself undertakes to observe the ten ways of wholesome action and instigates others also thereto. But without basing himself on anything. His perfection of patience in that he himself becomes on who has achieved patience and also instigates others thereto, but without basing himself on anything. His perfection of vigor in that he dwells persistently in the five perfections and instigates others also thereto but without basing himself on anything. His perfection of concentration in that he himself enters into the trances with skill and means and is not reborn on account of them. That he instigates others also to do likewise, and that he never bases himself on anything. His perfection of wisdom consists in that he does not settle down in any dharma. Contemplates the essential nature of all dharmas, also instigates other beings to the contemplation of all dharmas, but never bases himself on anything. This, Subhuti, is the great vehicle of a bodhisattva, a great being. 9. The Equipment with Cognition Moreover, Subhuti, the great vehicle of the bodhisattva, the great being, that is the emptiness of the emptiness of other being. Subject, etc. 2. The 1. What is the emptiness of the subject? Dharmas on the subject side are eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and mind. Therein, the eye is empty of the eye, on account of its being neither unmoved nor destroyed. And why? Because such is its essential nature. And so for the ear, etc. 2. Mind. 2. What is the emptiness of the object? Dharmas on the object side are forms sounds, smells, tastes, touch objects, and mind objects. Therein form is empty of form, on account of its being neither unmoved nor destroyed. And why? Because such is its essential nature. And so for sounds, etc. 2. Mind objects. 3. What is the emptiness of both subject and object? The six subjective sense fields and the six objective sense fields, these are the inward equals subjective and outward equals objective dharmas. How are the subjective empty of the objective dharmas? Eye, ear, nose, tongue, body and mind are empty of forms, sounds, smells, tastes, touch objects and mind objects. How are the objective empty of the subjective dharmas? Forms, sounds, smells, tastes. Touch objects and mind objects are empty of eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and mind, on account of their being neither unmoved nor destroyed. For such is their essential nature. 4. What is emptiness of emptiness? The emptiness of all dharmas is empty of that emptiness, on account of its being neither unmoved nor destroyed. For such is its essential nature. 5. What is the great emptiness? The eastern direction is empty of the eastern direction, on account of its being neither unmoved nor destroyed. For such is its essential nature. And so for the other nine directions. 
6. What is the emptiness of ultimate reality? Ultimate reality means nirvana. And that nirvana is empty of nirvana, on account of its being neither unmoved nor destroyed. For such is its essential nature. 7. What is conditioned emptiness? Conditioned means the world of sense desire, the world of form, the formless world. Therein the world of sense desire is empty of the world of sense desire, on account of its being neither unmoved nor destroyed. For such is its essential nature. And so for the other two worlds. 8. What is unconditioned emptiness? Unconditioned means that of which there is not production, no stopping, no stability, no alteration. The unconditioned is empty of the unconditioned, on account of its being neither unmoved nor destroyed. For such is its essential nature. 9. What is infinite emptiness? That of which no end is got it, that infinite is empty of the infinite, on account of its being neither unmoved nor destroyed. For such is its essential nature. 10. What is the emptiness without beginning or end? That of which no beginning or end is got it, of that the middle is non-existent. And that of which neither beginning nor middle nor end is got it, of that there is no coming or going. Beginning, middle, and end are also empty of beginning, middle, and end, on account of their being neither unmoved nor destroyed. For such is their essential nature. 11. What is the emptiness of non-repudiation? Of that dharma there is no repudiation. Repudiation means casting off, spurning, letting go. The non-repudiation is empty of the non-repudiation, on account of its being neither unmoved nor destroyed. For such is its essential nature. 12. What is the emptiness of essential nature? The essential original nature of all dharmas, be they conditioned or unconditioned, is not made by the disciples, or by the Pratyekabuddhas, or by the Tathagatas, nor is it removed by them. The essential nature is empty of the essential nature, on account of its being neither unmoved nor destroyed. For such is its essential nature. 13. What is the emptiness of all dharmas? All dharmas means the five skandhas, the twelve sense fields, the six kinds of consciousness, the six kinds of contact, the six kinds of feeling conditioned by contact. Conditioned and unconditioned dharmas. These are called all dharmas. Therein all dharmas are empty of all dharmas, on account of their being neither unmoved nor destroyed. For such is their essential nature. 14. What is the emptiness of own marks? To be easily broken is the mark of form, experiencing that of feeling, taking up that of perception, together making that of the formative forces, being aware that of consciousness. Likewise, suffering is the mark of the skandhas, resemblance to a venomous snake that of the elements, acting as a door of coming into being that of the sense fields, possessing the full complement of conditions that of conditioned co-production. Renunciation that of the perfection of giving. Celibacy that of the perfection of morality. Unshakeability that of the perfection of patience. Uncrushability that of the perfection of vigor, comprehension that of the perfection of concentration, non-attachment that of the perfection of wisdom. Unshakeability is the mark of the four trances, the four unlimited, the four formless attainments. Leading forth that of the thirty-seven wings of enlightenment. Detachment that of emptiness as a door to deliverance, quiet calm that of the signless as a door to deliverance, removal of suffering that of the wishless as a door to deliverance. Delivering that of the deliverances, to be well masked that of the powers, to be well.